at this point you are in a situation where you have installed the Ubuntu successfully but uh, after successful installation when you boot up it uh, your windows is started up but your Ubuntu menu is not there the group menu is not there uh, so uh, you have successfully installed the Ubuntu but you don't um, you don't see it where, where from you start it should be the purple screen from the uh, at the beginning which you called group uh, and you should have able to you should have able to the select the windows and ubuntu but unfortunately it is not there or there may be a chance you have installed the you have you have a dual boot machine and you have reinstalled the windows and the group is disappeared so uh, your ubuntu is uh, perfectly there but uh, you are not able to access it so in uh, i'll show you how to access the uh, previous group menu uh, so that you can you can use the ubuntu and windows uh, as a dual boot machine so please be with me I will help you out mm, go to google and search for easy visit click on the first link and now go to the down click on register just click the download button the file is downloaded and after downloading please install and proceed now start the easy vcd uh, here you can see this the easy vcd screen and and go to the add new entry and after that select the linux and bsd tab and select group legacy and give the name of the you can give here ubuntu v u n t u ubuntu and the partition will be the same and um, it is an first 100 mb drive it is all default created by the uh, default created by the windows see our linux partition is 4 linux partition is a fourth partition and which is 57 gb but we have to give the this one and the first partition and we just give to add entry after adding the entry uh, we just go to the edit put menu setting after this is in this menu you can add the count uh, default count timer for how much time it should wait uh, before starting the windows of the default one and, and you just save the settings after saving the settings when you next time restart but your machine will be uh, you have you will be given two options to select one of them um, and please note that it is, is it is useful when you have to multiple hard drives and and on each hard drive you have suppose you have a multiple operating systems maybe windows 10 and windows 8 windows 7 windows 6 this kind of things and windows 6 is not there <laughs> uh, so this kind of things are there so then you can add the multi uh, multiple entry for the boot menu okay nice thanks enjoy